This week on Twende, we are in Sagana. We show you an important meeting point on a river. I turn my hustle on kwa samaki. I go Bantu and I do as the people here do. Oh yeah. In your crocodile. And we visit a special baby. Yes, a baby with breathtaking sceneries. Here at Twende, we love special places. Last week, we showed you the Seven Forks. These dams are constructed on the might of Tana River that has its origin from Mount Kenya Forest. On its upper course, the river flows northwards, then curves south below the equator. The Tana's main tributary, River Sagana, originates from a series of springs among open moorlands on Mount Kenya. Along the Nairobi Nyeri Highway at Sagana is a meeting point on top of the river. Four counties intersect right on the top of the bridge. So, in a in Tana River, but what do you call Sagana River? On the on the bridge, four counties meet. Right now, Tumesimama Pande ya Muranga. Ukivuka Barabara ni Machakos. Ukivuka Bridge on this side is Kerenyaga, na east side ni Embu. And I can see there's a lot of activities happening. You know, obviously, kuna construction, but ata kuenda kuona nini. And maybe even surprise ourselves. No, not the Twende. Twende? Ah, yes, sir. On my way to the site, I see this young lad filling what looks like bags with soil. I sought to find out ni nini naendelea hapa. Yanjo majama. Kirema. Oh, sasa hapa. Nime, eh, nilikuwa nasema hapa pale nikaona tu acha nikuje nione mnafanya nini. Mm. Ni sadi ya kazi yetu. Eh. Kuweka mchanga. Eh. Hii ni ya kupanda nini? Dimo. Yeah, <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'm going to go to the step one. 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 So, when you come, there is an experience what people at the place do you know yet to do na kuja kama unapita i mean also that's also cool you can you miss out on so much this special spot is currently under construction so the construction yenye inafanyika hapa ni ya nini hapa during carriage way eh inatoka from keno to sagana eh ambapo tuna tunataka kuweka two lane road okay we have the existing bridge, yeah. will be our, the other road. Then we are trying to come yeah. up with another bridge, new oh, okay. bridge. So, E Pande? Yeah. Oh. Actually, it's the same, it's a duplicate of the old bridge, the existing bridge. Oh, okay. So, it's just like that? You can attack this side, eh? Yeah. yeah. 
Our road, our road is starting from Keno, uh -huh. heading Sagana. Heading Sagana. So as we facing Sagana, yeah. this is our left hand side eh? okay. the of our road. Okay. This is our right hand yeah. side. So of our road. Ki, okay, and the Ivy. Na hii pande itakuwa ikienda hii. Ikienda hii side. Oh, okay, sawa. Yes. Na ita at least itasaidia hata traffic. Itasaidia traffic. So travel itakuwa easier ama Travel itakuwa easier. Yeah. As you can see, especially kama umefanya statistics of this road, yeah. unapata magari mingi. Yeah. Ziko zia hii barabara. Hii yeah. barabara is ever busy. It's ever busy, yeah. Ever yeah. Busy, yeah. The dueling of this highway plus the bridge will subsequently reduce traffic and boost economic activities between Nairobi and the northern parts of Kenya. Locals and travelers have hailed the project saying it will reduce their travel time by easing traffic jams witnessed between Sagana and Keno. Kwanza nyinye watu wa Ah! At the construction site, we find this young bunch of lads who have taken advantage of the low water levels at the river to do some sand harvesting. The river goes down to Masinga Reservoir. That's where the damming starts. Not only is Masinga producing electricity in a feed watu, na fish, Nile patch, tilapia, mud fish, catfish are some of the species that are found in this reservoir. At Sagana before the bridge, we saw a fish market where they sell their catch from Masinga Dam by the roadside. They get their fish in Machakos and sell it in Moranga. Usa maki anaitwa madfish. Na dia tunaikanga kwa maji sababu anakanga muda mrefu sana akufa. Ukimu hata na sakata masaa 12 dia au awe amekufa. Uhai wake na kuanga bali sana. Sio kama samaki wale wengine atukimtoa anakufa hapo kwa hapo. Lakini huyu anakaa kwa muda mrefu. Na dia anaitwa madfish huyo sasa. Eh here I decide to try something different. Samaki na shiko hivi. Oh ina shiko hivi. Shika hivi. Oh hivi. Eh. Ana tingisha. Unaivanya hivi ringa lione. Samaki? 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 Fish? 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 Madam, fish? Fish? As you can see, nimeanza kuza samaki ni my new side hustle. <laughs> Nimefunzo na wili. Uh, these two go for 350. Ninge uza. Ngepata ka 50 bobapo. Iki hii ni kazi, hii ni kazi. Ujuza sita uko na mia sita amu ya tatu yako? Eh, ni kuza sita, eh. Sinuona? Mia tatu yako, eh. Na kuna, kuna wakati watu ununua, kununua. Kununua, kununua. Baati yako tu. Eh. Aya. The fish vendors have to crisscross this busy highway now and then to sell to motorists stopping over at this point. Hapo kipita, unaweza buy fresh fish. Eh. Kuhasu, sio rahisi. Manze, leo naona kama nita... Nitakula stock. Kwaza naona vile ya mechoma, nita mpelekea ye mwenyewe. Jemaima? Yes. Mimi, uh -huh. sioni ni kama ni kiuza leo. Uh -huh. Ni meshindu wa kabisa. Ile, eh? kubanya kumeka uka ama. Kumeka uka bana, we nataka uni, unipikie. Yeah? Sawa. Sawa. Nita kupikia. Chani, nyingi hapa, hata ni, ni hepe jua. Sawa. Hapa the fish is prepared to nyeje star. Hakuna cha five star, the experience is what you get. So clearly, mimi, I'm not very good na kuuza samaki. Hata ni kule. Lakini sita kula peke angu. Kuna mtu wanakaa kaa kona anjani, mamongalia hapa. Hata. Pilot! Yes! Kuja tukule! Just 
Unajua kwa hiyo nimekula aina samaki. Sana sana tilapia. But every place iko na flavor yake. Hmm? Ya yeah. yeah, Victoria different counties who call kuna of course the salty water here yeah, ocean so keep it up ah anjua si mama what can you like about you iko na freshness sana this is the land of the agikuyu and what better way to experience that culture than to go deep down into the belly of culture? It's time to transform. Ah, you know the head of the Kamodo. Better to take a look at the to do my modwago, who are catching a poo. But Sayu Mekua, eh, Mabadirica, Mabadirica, Sani Mekua Cabisa, eh, Aya, as I can as a Pambia Caribu de Mira. Ah, Santi Sana, Sasa E. Naitoni, Eo Etago go, go, do it away to Mo, Itimo, eh, Nay, Jongwa, Jongwa, eh, so in your Kukalia, in your Kalia, probably Kaisa. No, 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 you are Mosi and Ukarele. So, okay. This is a multicultural center, home of living memories. A multicultural village demonstrating traditional life of Bantus around Mount Kenya, namely Ameru, Aembu, Ambere, Agekoyo, and Akamba. What you're seeing here yeah. is a setup of uh, Agekoyo homestead. Okay. All the community that lives around Mount Kenya. Yeah. And what you're seeing here. Yeah. Yeah. As you all know, yeah. it, uh, it, we used to live together mm. as one people. Yeah. We used to be one big family. Yeah. Before we started separating yeah. in Nairobi or in wherever. Yeah. yeah, this is how we used to live. Mm. Of course, the head of the bomber was the Mze. Yeah. And being a Mze, yeah. he used to have his house called mm. Dingira. So uh, this is the, this is the the the, the, gi, gira. the gira. gira is a heart of a man. Ah. A man did not live with women or children yeah. in one house. Okay. They used to live separate yeah. from their wives yeah. and the children. Okay. So yeah. all men in mm. Africa were polygamous. Yeah. So starting with the first wife, mm -hmm. first wife, the house is called Nyomba. 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 Yeah. Nyomba. Because yeah. that is the first person yeah. who who started this. Yeah. As you know, we say the Koyona yeah. Mobi. Ah. So the first wife is Mombi. Mombi. So okay. she started Nyomba. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. You get it? The Ngira cultural village takes me on a journey that makes me feel like I've gone back hundreds of years. I also got a taste of the treatment a young groom would receive back in the days. Karibu mm. Nyubani, that is our food. Mm. Uh, maybe most of the people they didn't know what she's saying. Yeah. She said, This is what they used to eat, mm. Mm. and that's why they are healthy. Yeah. On the north of the Dingira cultural village is Kiambisho Hill. From the Dingira cultural village, there are hike trails through Kiambisho Hill that take you to our next destination in Sagana. We choose to drive there. Hmm? Anyway, why not? Its proximity to Nairobi should definitely make it a favorite to many. It takes one and a half hours to two hours to get here from Nairobi. You probably know that you could go rafting in Sagana, boat riding or bungee jumping. But what you most likely don't know is that there are very scenic and amazing gorges in Sagana. The Sagana Gorges. Locals call it the Kenyan Baby Grand Canyon. Sinilwambia, we are going to visit a baby. Well, here you go. 
So I've come to see a friend of mine called uh, Sami. Lakini simuoni. Mr. Jora. Hey. This is Sami. Honu metokeleze hapi. Huku chini bro. Hey. This is Kenyan Baby Grand Canyon. Come I show you. Ke yeah, long time no see. Kenyan. Kenyan Baby Grand Canyon. Kenyan Baby Grand Canyon. Yes. So ka Canyon Kadogo. Yes. Ka Kenya. Kabisa. Karibu sana. This is the way down. Hey. Yes. Kweli ni baby. Mm, ni kama hii cha. Steps when you're going down, please. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. A Hell's Gate type of attraction with interesting sights and amazing scenery. Very photogenic with tracks all around so one can easily move when down in the gorge. So this happened after heavy rain for rain and uh, top loose soil was swept down by the fresh fronts bit by bit. That's why you see the hard bits were left standing like this one, that one, like that, until it's reached this level now. Yeah. As you can see now, the hard bits are left standing. Yeah, yeah that's why we have now Kenyan yeah. the Grand Canyon. Rocks are left exposed and over time this rock is carried downstream by rainwater. This erosion will eventually form the steep walls of the gorge. The flooding of streams or rivers increases the speed and intensity of this erosion, creating deeper and wider gorges. You said soil erosion. So yes. how long has it been? Just 15 years. 15 years? Just 15 years and you can see all this now. You mean in 15 years up up it, flat? It was a flat kabisa actually. They were not going to have potholes. So 15 years of rain? Yes. And what is it now? Water. Water. It was cracking bit by bit. Ah, okay. Yeah, there were small cracks. But now as you can see, there's yeah. big, huge gurries yeah. dug by water. 15 years? 15 years actually. It's not a baby, any because in five acres after all. But to compare to the Grand Canyon, of course, this is a baby. But it's amazing, it's beautiful. To Kosagana, Moranga County. Now, just what nature is capable of doing, if you're just patient with it, is amazing. Of course, sana. Another thing is that they are trying to stop people from harvesting sand. Ndiyo isiendele tu kwa deep. They are also building gabions. And it's not just on this side of the road. It's both, both the right and the left side. It's expansive. It's beautiful. People come here to just enjoy themselves and go for adventures. Well, Sagana has been great. I know we still have more to do here in Sagana. Better stay tuned. We might just be your next destination.